Hello guys, this is Death and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Build a Modern City series. I believe this is episode 6. Yes, do you see how unprepared I am due to the little complication we've had? Yes, it's episode 6, due to my studio being invaded, but I'll try and keep this episode as professional as the ones I've done prior. But before we get on to what we're doing today, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you all so much for smashing those like goals like they're nothing. Within an hour, smashed. So this episode we're going to try and aim for 10 likes, see if we can do it, and I don't know what we'll do if we do, but yes, it's a, it's a good thing. Not many people notice, but in the thumbnail, I left a big error in this building. Can you see it now? I'll give you a little moment before I tell you. Okay, right, so... As you've seen, I was a derp, I was a big spoon when it comes to building and I didn't realise these, like this side was a different size from that side, so yeah, you see me remove some sides of the building a few times. Anyway, I forgot to edit this side, so yeah, it's off by one block. Not the best, not the best at all, but yeah, we're going to fix that today. Anyway, the plan for today is we are going to finish the exterior, fix any errors I have seen. We're going to start working on the interior, and that should be good. Also, another thing I'd like to point out, we'll be getting a little bit better performance this episode. This is because, for some reason, I didn't allocate more than one gigabyte of RAM for this playthrough and for my normal version of Minecraft like when I pl I'm playing the Vulture SMP server or anything like that I have a minimum of 4 gigs allocated so yeah a few moments ago I allocated 4 gigabytes of RAM to this Minecraft instance and well it's running considerably better yes that's the word I was looking for also a little bit earlier on today I was getting a lot of computer slowdowns I don't know why it just happened. It happened after I restarted my PC because I tried to record this earlier, but yet the other day I updated my graphic drivers, my GPU drivers, and that has caused crashes due to shaders not being compatible. So yeah, that's a, that's. I wasn't I wasn't amused. Anyway, this episode is going to be a little bit strange. It's a little bit easier because we do time lapses and there isn't a lot of talking. But the times we are talking, I'm going to try and do it when my brother's out, which we are doing now so we get peace and quiet. And also you'll be hearing a little bit more background noise than usual. That is because some of the furniture in the, the room has been moved around, so sound is bouncing off surfaces in a different way. So sorry about that, I don't have the tools to fix it unless I move the furniture back, which isn't a good idea at the moment. But we shouldn't have to deal with this for a, for long. Also, I'd like to thank you all for your lovely comments in the comment section. As I really appreciate it. It's, it's good to know that people enjoy what I build, even though I am horrible at building buildings. I can build everything else, but buildings, no. I am horrible. Ah. <laughs> Anything else to say? Um, also, if you have any building suggestions, or if you have, say, vehicles or other city utilities you want to send me, please do get in touch with me on Facebook. No, not Facebook, I don't use that anymore. Twitter or in the comment section, send me a private message. Yeah. And also make sure to go and follow all my social networking links, all my social networking pages. They're all linked down below. But with that being said, let's get started with the time lapse.
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there. We've spent a lot, quite a bit of time in this project today alone for this episode. It's been about two hours working on this. So yeah, we didn't mess up much things, so that's good. Anyway, so we fixed any errors that we had. We've just got to do a quick overview of the build. And well, we had built the interiors. This is our ground floor. As you can see, there's no door at the back. I'll get to that in a little moment. But yeah, what I was thinking about here was I, I've been a few hotels in my time, and normally in the downstairs lounge area, you get well, it's a lounge most of the time. Sometimes you get a restaurant. So what we have here on both sides of this main hall, which is very bright, as we have little seating areas, so we've got some viewing views out the windows and some bigger tables around and this is the elevator shaft right here but it's closed off from this side. And yeah, we used a lot of glowstone and beacons. Now since we used beacons I thought well we can use glass up here and it'll create the same effect. And yes it did, I was correct there. And well, of course we have our stairwells here. But yeah, that, I think this, this bolt has went very, very well indeed. It's been good. Anyway, this back section here, we don't have a door here because initially what I planned was I'd have a door here and it'd be like one of those doors where you'd bring supplies in the back. So maybe you'd have like a cargo van, cargo truck or something back here unloading supplies and say if we had kitchens or something, which I would the hotel would, we just haven't put it in, it would connect directly, that's why we don't have anything here, but we may do a basement or something and we can put the stuff in there. So yeah, this floor was one of the best ones we've done, it's the, what, the only one that is completely furnished. And yeah, I'm really, I really like this floor with the chandelier things we have and just all the details. And after working with this block combination for a little while, I really like it. Anyway, elevator shafts are pretty dark and gloomy, but yeah. So yeah, this is basically very dull. We've got entrance points, both sides of the building, and then other sides of the building as well. Just make sure every side is connected. And then we have our actual hotel rooms, which are not furnished. Pretty small too, because you're going to have walls and stuff up. But I'm not going to furnish them because, well, no reason really, I just, I've kind of run out of time today. I may furnish them off camera and maybe show you next time. I still have to think about that. But yeah, this was a very successful build, my first building on this world, my first full size building. This is probably one of the biggest buildings I've ever made in Minecraft. I remember back when I started playing Minecraft, that was an Xbox version. I was trying to build a city and I had to do it all by hand, there's no water red and no nothing, it was very painful. And I've added little air conditioning systems up here too, I should add more because a uh, building like this would have more. Anyway guys, we are out of time for today so I'd like to thank you all for watching once more. I'm sorry for any weird noises you hear in the background like wind or a constant blowing, that's my brother's playstation and also any weird echoes or anything we're getting because of the furniture's been moved around. My apologies, there's nothing we can do about that right now. I've tried to minimise it by recording when he's out, but I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Anyway guys, remember, 10 likes this episode, try and get us there. If not even more, that would be awesome. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button. And, well, if you like it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.